Hey guys, this is Ostad and welcome back to Comic Space and as we are coming off the back of D23 Brazil this year of course we have a lot of things to talk about and a lot of inside news that we obviously can speculate a lot about with Miles Morales introduction within the MCU which Kevin Feige himself have finally commented on and they are actually planning to bring that character within the MCU and obviously we have a lot of tidbits about what is going to happen and especially with recently that Marvel Studios announced and revealed that sizzle reel for the 2025 Disney Plus slate which is again I believe has to be one of the most ambitious slate reveal that we have so far especially regarding Disney Plus. So again I think one of the first things that we need to talk about is Kevin Feige have finally addressed the fact that Miles Morales exists with of course all of the Spider-Verse film and he have finally went on to comment on the fact that he's going to appear in the next Spider-Verse film and then after they are going to try to figure it out to bring him within the MCU. So again, in the past we have speculated a lot about the introduction of Miles within the MCU with the upcoming of course Spider-Man 4 which at the one point we even thought it was going to be in King in Black storyline with even Null could be part of the story which again there is a still possibility about that which again it can also be its own video just to talk about Null and everything and Venom even though there is an obviously in partnership between Marvel and Sony there are still quite in restriction about bringing what characters and when to bring them because right now the third Spider-Verse film has been delayed with no potential release date being on site and given the fact recently it was also announced that Spider-Man 4 Tom Holland's Spider-Man 4 will be coming out on July 26 of 2026 so again I think if you look at the schedule and how all of the things are working out and especially given the fact that Marvel is going to start taking some major step when it comes to introducing characters such as Miles. It is going to happen when Sony is well done after the whole Spider-Verse thing. Which also means it is going to happen when Marvel Studios is also well done with the Secret Wars storyline. With again, I think every single studio that is out there, all of their schedule has been about one to two years behind. With of course, Kevin Feige also pointed out that Marvel Studios is running behind and the original release schedule Obviously, they had planned for the whole multiverse saga and given the fact a lot of things have happened. You have Spider-Man 4 coming up. There is a quite possibility that now that Spider-Man 4 is going to be coming out after the major gap after Spider-Man No Way Home. Hopefully, the Spider-Man 5 does comes out to that normal release schedule with an year gap in between. With of course Spider-Man 4 coming out in 26, potentially 28 or maybe 29 we can go on further to Spider-Man 5. They are not going to be finished with Peter Parker whatsoever even with everything that is going on with Secret Wars we are for sure going to move forward and which Spider-Man 5 would have the highest potential of introducing new spider people within the MCU which again we are in the multiverse saga and Secret Wars is on the horizon so which is again that is your golden opportunity and leeway to introduce a lot of other spider people of course with Spider-Gwen and with Miles also but if you are talking about our main 616 Miles we can for sure have a hint because we already have set that character up very well with the Spider-Man Homecoming. So with that scene that we had in Spider-Man Homecoming, which again I think Miles does exist in the MCU, which is again canyon within the MCU. So you already have that character set up, which again Mouse Studios just left it out to be as a fun reference, which again they would have eventually circled back to. Again I don't think so Spider-Man 4 is the project that is quite likely to introduce Miles. Maybe a postcard scene, but also Spider-Man 4, the way that film is shaping up to be and coming in between Secret Wars and Avengers 2 Mysterious. So again, I think Marvel Studios have all of the other stuff to figure out with the 616 continuity itself and not really going forward with introducing new characters in the very last leg of the multiverse saga when you are about to wrap everything. And another very great insight that is coming off the back of D23 Brazil is that Kevin Feige also addressed the fact Marvel Studios for sure likes the idea of renewing some of the shows for of course season 2 for moving forward with starting with Daredevil Born Again. So one of the interesting things that is until now even with the Agatha all along until very now Marvel Studios has been working on the initial strategy that they had moved forward from the days of WandaVision when they initially started putting out projects on Disney Plus they had a very different mindset. And they were not really looking forward because most of the Disney Plus projects that we have seen so far are not going to be renewed for second season whatsoever because they were pretty sure they were going to be telling a story within that project itself and not really moving forward with the renew and the second season of it. 
which again given the whole reinfrastructuring of the, the strategy the way they were going to put out content on disney plus specifically i think in showrunner building in pilot and see if that project actually works out and then move forward and not really getting into an ip or in character just head on and not having an idea of what it could be or how they were going to move forward in the future especially so again i think it is time for me to see you guys off on this one i'm so glad that you guys got the time to hear me out thanks for listening to me this is your host adi signing off see you in the next one